Veteran internet celebrity Trisha Paytas is known for many things, including how she spends cash on her lavish lifestyle. And recently, she completed her biggest purchase to date, a mansion in Westlake Village she bought with her fiancé Moses Hockman. While Jeffree Star may have called Trisha broke for renting her previous house, that was far from cheap in itself, and the new home is hers to keep, even if it costs her a whopping $3.75 million. Today we'll take a look at the YouTuber's beautiful new property as well as where she used to live, we even found the list. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Trisha K. Paytas is a YouTuber, media personality, model, singer, and more who was born in Riverside, California, raised in Illinois, and relocated to Los Angeles in her teen years. It's been a long and hard road to the top for Trisha, who started her career as a teenage stripper and escort on the streets of Hollywood. However, her bold personality ended up scoring her dozens of small parts TV roles, even as an extra, but she kept at it, and eventually, Trisha got her viral social media fame. Today, she ranks as one of YouTube's most enduring and notable faces, with a huge 2.1 billion lifetime views on the platform. Not to mention, 2020 brought some new career highs for Trisha. We all know she's famously controversial, so it's no surprise she allegedly raked in millions, posting explicit content on OnlyFans. When Trisha's not cruising around LA in her one-of-a-kind pink Rolls Royce SUV, or posting videos crying on her kitchen floor about the latest drama, she's busy making a fortune. At the time of this recording, Trisha's network is estimated to be somewhere between five to ten million dollars. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We noticed about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're looking at where famous YouTuber Trisha Paytas calls home, like her brand new mansion, as well as her former luxurious rental property. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. After years of living in a rented condo at the Groves Palazzo West complex where Trisha uploaded all those famous videos of herself crying on the kitchen floor, she upgraded her living situation. In 2019, the YouTuber packed up her sea of designer goods and moved to the San Fernando Valley celeb love Studio City neighborhood. Located in the Donyas, a small pocket in Studio City that's essentially a cheaper version of Beverly Hills' fancy Truesdale Estates, Trisha's hilltop rental was gated, surrounded by high hedges and carrots cameras secured for a ton of privacy. According to records, it was costing her 11.5k per month to rent. This sprawling house was a big upgrade from her former condo, spanning 3,500 square feet with four beds and four baths throughout. Trisha's famous neighbors here included the likes of her ex-friend David Dobrik, as well as Justin Timberlake, Eva Longoria, and Chris Evans. Since living here, Trisha has shown the place off on social media, and I remember noticing the open floor plan and all the floor-to-ceiling glass. Originally built in 1964, the two-level home seems to have been built as a modest mid-century modern residence and given a huge remodel within the last decade. Now it's super contemporary. The exterior of her house was grey, white, and boxy, and inside it boasted hardwood floors, soaring walls of glass, and ceilings with recessed lighting. Common spaces on the main floor included a living room, combination living and family room, an attached kitchen with stainless appliances, and plenty of room for food filming YouTube videos. Upstairs, Trisha's master suite offered a private balcony, walk-in closet, and spa-style bathroom with dual vanities, a glass shower, and built-in soaking tub. I also recall she gave this bedroom a complete Beetlejuice makeover, which I was totally jealous of. Outside, while the property is only a quarter of an acre, there's a spacious yard with a built-in barbecue area, large patio, and swimming pool with raised spa. Not to mention, you can catch some amazing views of the surrounding hills and the city from here. What was the announcement? because I actually don't know what it is. Oh, uh -huh. this is so exciting. We officially, it's done, signed. We signed last night. We bought a house. Are you f***ing <laughs> kidding me? In more recent news, it seems Trisha has completed her biggest splurge to date, finally becoming a homeowner and dropping $3.7 million on a beautiful mansion. The YouTuber purchased the estate with her fiancé, Moses. Trisha has openly talked about the journey to buying the home in her videos and on the H3 podcast, stating many times how much it meant to her in terms of commitment from Moses. The pair announced their engagement on Christmas Day 2020, getting engaged in an Aladdin-themed desert proposal. Trisha also confirmed both of their names are on the new property and they got it for 300k less than the asking price. 
The couple's brand new home is out in the family-friendly city of Westlake Village, about an hour from downtown LA by car. It's set on 3.24 acres of land in a guard-gated country club, behind private driveway gates of its own, and no doubt highly secure and admirably private. Past the large palm trees and pristine landscaping, there's a motor court with room for over 12 cars, and an attached wing with additional four-car garage with room for the couple's expensive rides like a Bentley and Porsche. The mansion spans almost 7,000 1,500 square feet with five beds, more than 6.5 baths, and grandly sized living spaces. While it was built in 1990, the property underwent a full renovation last year thanks to the previous owners, who are a non-famous couple. The villa has a unique floor plan with a grand staircase leading between the garage to the front door, which is off to the side. Walking in, there's a large foyer and stone staircase, as well as a formal living and dining rooms beside. The living room has a fireplace, bronze chandelier, and tower ceilings. The high-end chef's kitchen has a Viking suite of appliances including a super fancy fridge and separate one for wine. This spacious family room offers another fireplace and opens right up to the terrace outside. And here you'll find a ton of room to entertain including a huge stone patio, cabana with kitchen and bar and manicured gardens. The pool out back has an elevated spa with stacked stone waterfall overlooking perfect views. Elsewhere in Trisha's new home, there's an elevator with access to the main and upper levels and the lower wing as well as a movie theater with leather lined seats. The master suite she and Moses will share is luxurious and includes a bedroom with lounge area, fireplace, bar area with beverage station, and four season style attached bathroom. It includes gold marble fixtures, dual showers and vanities, a soaking tub and separate steam room. The walk-in closet is definitely big enough for Trisha's collection of designer bags and clothing too. I would say after looking at this mansion, Trisha has definitely upgraded in style to homeowner status. Well, I think that brings us to the end of our Trisha Paytas house tour. I don't think Jeffree Star can call her broke anymore, that's for sure. But even her previous rental house in Studio City was spacious and impressive, not to mention the rent was far from cheap. So I don't think he should have called her broke either way. It's safe to say that Trisha and her soon-to-be husband Moses will enjoy their new digs. While it isn't in Hollywood, maybe an hour's drive from downtown LA will be a good way to get some much deserved peace and quiet. After looking at Trisha's new mansion in her former house, what did you guys think? Which did you prefer or what were your favorite rooms in the homes? I like both of the properties but I gotta say I'm a big fan of her new Westlake mansion. Everything from the interior design to the lavish master suite is perfect, not to mention that kitchen. There's so much room to cook and eat here, I even love it just for that fancy refrigerator. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Trisha's homes in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I love seeing you guys comment and getting to know you guys better over there. We'll link you my latest video. So off the bat, over here I have my chokers and as you can see I love them. Some are more outrageous than others. Other than wearing rings, I think they're my favorite piece of jewelry. Thanks for tuning in and I'm still reading all of your comments and amazing suggestions so keep them coming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Video. Bye!